Hello Tangerines from Las Vegas. If you're new to our channel, I'm Jordan, this is Maddie, and we're Tangerine Travels. So in a previous video we were telling you tips on how to do Vegas cheap, how to do it on a budget. We got a lot of comments saying there's no way you can go to Vegas and have a good time if you're not spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars a day, whether that's on the hotel room, gambling, drinks, everything. So today we are going to put that into action and show you that you can have an awesome time with $50 or less per person per day. And what does that include? That includes lodging, resort fees, gambling, drinking budget, eating out. Entertainment. Entertainment, everything. Absolutely everything. Everything for $50 per person per day. So let's go. Let's go get some breakfast. We had to make a quick pit stop by the M Life desk to use a My Vegas reward or get one loaded onto our card, and that is for a buy one get one breakfast buffet. So we're heading to the buffet now. Hi. Hi. I'd like to redeem a buy one get one free breakfast. Thank you. Thank I want to get one free from my Vegas before or after tax, before tip. This came out to less than $11 per person. That is one of the best values on the strip. Stay good. <laughs> was super good as usual and as usual I'm leaving there with a gigantic food baby so what better thing could we do than go have some pool time go sit out in a bikini we're going this way okay we're going this way <laughs> <laughs> awesome. or maybe that's the worst idea ever but that's what's next on our list we're walking around like we're drunk haven't even had a drink Jordan's like this well I'm trying to go that way you're trying to go this way <laughs> As we said in our previous video, one great way to get into pool parties free or into nightclubs is to go to freevegasclubpasses.com. So that's what we did, and we got the hookup for free entry into the Flamingo Day Party Day, or at the Flamingo Pool, which if we get there before noon, we both get free entry and a free drink for the lady. And didn't you say that it is pretty atypical to get same day free entry? Usually you have to look days in advance, you, especially for like a weekend day. Yeah, for, for example, I went on there this morning and there was only one available. We could only do Flamingo. Mm -hmm. But if we book for tomorrow, there were four available. So if you do it in advance, there's going to be more options for you. Yeah, don't wait till the last minute where you're gonna get the slim pickings items. Uh -huh. So if you're with a group of all guys, you're probably going to struggle to get into day clubs or night clubs for free. But if you have an even ratio of guys to girls like us, or <laughs> us too. 50 50 even ratio. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> or if you're with a group of girls, then you're going to have a lot more options. However, if you're with all guys and you have status in casino loyalty programs, you can probably get into a lot more places for free and we'll cover how to do that later in this video. So now we are headed back up to our room at the link really quick to change into our swimsuits and head over. When we got to the Flamingo Pool, there was a huge general admissions line. Luckily, we were able to use our Caesars Diamond card to skip the line and get right in immediately. But something else we can do for free here while we're at Flamingo. Oh, yes, we're right by this animal habitat with all of these flamingos, turtles, fish. So we're gonna go check that out. Totally free. 
All right. So I said there were fish, but I had no idea there were freaking gigantic fish. Jordan goes, oh yeah, that's carp. I'm pretty sure if you stick your finger in there, it will bite your entire arm off. It's so big. I'm pretty sure they're not carnivores. So to do Vegas for $50 in a day, you have to, have to drink while gambling if you're going to drink at all. So we're going into the Cromwell, we're bringing 20 bucks in each, and that has to last for gambling and tips for drinks. Mm -hmm. And we're losing no more than that, so we'll see how it goes. And to and clarify, we're not going to count any winnings towards the total because the point we're trying to illustrate here is that you could take $50 and have it last for a bunch of stuff throughout the day. about, I don't know, a minute of sitting down, Pacho waitress came over, took our order, and now we have two drinks, all less than five minutes. So that is why we love Cromwell. And they're good drinks. Mm -hmm. Aperol Spritz, one of my favorites. So I wasn't even halfway through my first drink when the waitress came over again, and we got another round. So once again, super fast drinks. And that's one more dollar each. What you can order at the various casinos varies. At the various casinos it varies, <laughs> depending on the casino and how nice it is and what they want to offer. This drink I just got was Bailey's and coffee because I was feeling a little bit tired and if you're ever curious what you can get, you can just ask them. Here, for instance, the tequila is Patron, which is Pretty expensive tequila in the U.S. Um, not gonna get all snooty on you on which ones I actually prefer in Mexico. But. <laughs> <laughs> Hint: It's not Patron. It's not Patron. <laughs> I'm only a dr drink and a half in. Dr dr drink and a half in, and I'm already feeling it. They have a strong pour here, and we've only been here 15 minutes, and we just ordered our third drink. So we usually play max bet when we're playing video poker, but today, since we absolutely do not want to run out of money because you can have upswings and downswings, we are playing one credit at a time. So even if we have bad luck, our money doesn't go away nearly as fast. session we said to make things fair we're not going to count any winnings and it's actually kind of complicated because as you're gambling you lose a little you win a little so ultimately what we decided to try to make things fair is that if we're over we can keep playing with that money but once we're down we're down so I was down seven dollars and Jordan was up what were you? Fifteen. Fifteen dollars so Jordan could keep playing with that money if he wanted but we cap it at 20. So if we're putting anything back into our daily budget, it's only going to be 20, not more, because we're not trying to say that if you win, you can have a good time. We're trying to say that you can use a little bit of your money to gamble and get some free drinks and free water bottles, by the way, great money-saving tip, and you can still have a good time with that amount of money. Even if you lose your ass gambling, as long as you're playing low limits, you can still get a lot of free drinks. Maddie had a really bad session here. She lost a lot, but she was only playing 20 cent, 25 cents at a time. So despite losing $7, she got six, I think, free drinks during that time. So, and drinks here are expensive. That's like 10 or 15 bucks a piece if you're going to the bar. So I had to run back up to the room really quick because my shoes were giving me blisters. And meanwhile, Jordan is downstairs picking up some tickets because one of the cool things that comes with I think it's all Caesars properties, but specifically Link where we're staying is you get $10 high roller tickets, which is highly discounted from the normal price. I think it's something like 
$25 or more for the open bar ones. So we are gonna get in on that action in a minute. After having lots of drinks at the Cromwell, as they would say in Mexico, estamos bien pedos. <laughs> We're really drunk. <laughs> so I think it's time to take a break from drinking and go on the high roller, and we have two tickets for $10 each. If you're trying to do Vegas really cheap, just avoid attractions like this altogether, but we thought with a $50 budget, we can afford $10. In our previous Las Vegas tips video, we recommended checking out Groupon before you do absolutely anything on this trip, but before you purchase that, we also recommend Ebates, or now it's Rakuten. It's a free extension that applies additional coupons, gives you cash back as well, so it's just more money back in your pocket. We have a link down in the description that you can use to get $10 off your first qualifying purchase. This is not a sponsored video, we just love Ebates and we've been using it for years. I know it saves us a lot of money on stuff we're already buying. First time we did this world's largest observation wheel, we did the open bar version. And I'm not saying they forced drinks on us or anything, but we left there like, woohoo! <laughs> Shockingly drunk for only being on there for like 30, 30 <laughs> minutes, half, I think. Half hour, yeah. <laughs> it was like, what? happened. <laughs> the first time we got it on Groupon. <laughs> the first time we got it on Groupon and that included an open bar which is significantly more expensive but that was 35 a person I think. So uh -huh. 10 bucks a person, no alcohol included but I think it's a good deal. After the hour. After the hour, you'll probably get to see the show from the highest vantage point of the whole strip. So if you could do that, that would make this even more worthwhile. But honestly, such a cool experience just to see the whole strip and everything around. So if the normal version of this is around $25, I'm not totally sure it's worth that to me. But for $10, I think I would enjoy doing this just about every time we would come to Vegas, if that's every couple months or so. Um, and I do think the open bar is kind of a cool experience if you're looking to get where you want to go in a very quick <laughs> amount of time. The 30 minutes goes by super fast. And also, if you're looking to update your Instagram feed, this is a perfect time to do it because there's an almost unlimited amount of time. So you, can, you can take a picture from 360 angle. <laughs> but have a friend with you. But have a friend with you. could not have accidentally not planned this better. We didn't make any plans today. We're just going with the flow, but Harvest Hour, one of our favorite things to do on the strip, is happening from five to, stri five to strips. <laughs> five to six, and it is five right now. So Let's we're heading go. over to Bellagio. you now and we're about to use a my vegas reward we talked about how to get these rewards in our video how to do vegas cheap how to do las vegas cheap so each of us gets a free drink at what is the place called it's called harvest oh, and our happy okay. hour is called harvest hour for any of these rewards we always have to redeem them at the m life desk and that's just basically you show your rewards card and an id and then they activate it on your account so you can go use it at wherever or whatever it is hi guys how are you, hi. Hi, how are you? 
Okay. And we have a My Vegas reward for the Harvest yep, Hour. Yep, so there's your drinks, wine, and a beer. Okay. Okay. Similar to when we were playing video poker at Cromwell, these come with paper straws, which is something that's pretty common here in Vegas. For a city this big and super wasteful, I really appreciate all the little efforts they make to reduce plastic waste, especially. Like in our hotel, the link, they have kind of the on the wall push to dispense shampoo and conditioner, which I was a little bit sad about at first because I always love taking those little bottles home. But you, I can't even imagine how many tiny bottles of plastic they're keeping out of the landfill every year, so that is very good. Harvest Hour has got to be one of our favorite happy hours around here. Granted, they aren't super cheap, they're $7 a piece, but they are really good, really high quality, and it's a super easy My Vegas reward to get, so we almost always come here on our trips. We are not done with this video yet, but if you're enjoying this, please subscribe to our channel to see future Vegas videos that we're going to do, and also travel vlogs that we do in Mexico and across the world. mentioned in another video that there's tons of free things to do in Las Vegas. Pretty much every hotel is so elaborate and there's something to see and do in every single one that's totally free and Bellagio is one of the best. You have the fountain show that goes every hour during the day and I think it's every half hour at night and then this conservatory that's constantly changing. Bellagio is one of my personal favorites to come to because of this rotating flower display. Uh -huh. It's different every single time. There's fresh flowers, often animals, uh, music going on in the background. Yeah. It is just a whole shebang. And you could walk around, take your Instagram pictures, uh -huh. take a couple pictures together. We have so many over the past three years. <laughs> and they change it five times a year, one for each season, and then one for Chinese New Year. So honestly, I think this is one of the best, if not the best, free things to do on the Las Vegas trip, in my humble opinion, and I don't think I will ever get bored of this, and we will never not come here on uh, a trip. Absolutely. <laughs> and now we are going to take one of the free transportation options on the Las Vegas trip, the Aria Bellagio tram. I think it's just the Aria tram, right? It's their tram. It's called the Aria Express. Aria Express to, you guessed it, Aria. <laughs> but it actually goes from Bellagio, and then there's a stop at one side of Aria, and then there's a stop at the other side of Aria, which is also Park MGM. Let's go here. The doors are now closing. Anytime we get off here, it smells so good. It really like, does. It like a vanilla. Vanilla, fresh smell. And I don't know if you guys know this, but casinos actually scent the inside to promote wakefulness, to promote more gambling. And I don't know, I'll visit the casinos that smell like vanilla. Heck yeah, sign me up. <laughs> don't let them trick you though. Yeah. Mm. Keep you an eye on that out. wallet. <laughs> you wash your nose. <laughs> Maddie's been wanting a fanny pack, and I thought she was a huge nerd. She's been looking on Amazon and finally found this one. I think, but surprisingly, I think it actually looks pretty good on you. Yeah, backstory on this, I've been looking all over, not looking, I've been seeing all over Mexico a bunch of packs from a fanny, is what I always say. <laughs> Look a pack from a fanny. Um, jokingly, but I always was like, maybe I'd like that as something like a hands-free thing that I could easily get into. Uh, I finally found one. I had to give him the whole spiel. Like, if I don't like it, you can't you can't give me crap for it because I haven't had one of these since I was <laughs> like five. <laughs> you were telling me a story about how you had all your important stuff in it? Oh yeah, when I was little. All my important stuff, like stickers, pencils, like a chapstick, all the important kid stuff that you could ever have. And now I have all the important stuff that an adult can have, like a camera and more chopstick, and yes, I do have stickers in here. <laughs> well, they're called band-aids, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough now. Thank you, bye-bye. But anyway, why did we stop at the Aria shops at Crystal, or the Crystal shops at Aria, or whatever the crap it's called? Um, <laughs> 
are actually a lot of shops here that you can look in if you have like a flippity jillion dollars and these cool like water tornado things that you can look at and sculptures like this one that's big ass instrument shaped like a wooden instrument of some kind so also another free thing that you could do that's just part of one of these massive hotels with so much stuff in them that you will it just it's hard to be bored here that's some one of the reasons why we like it <laughs> So this is a brand new art installation that we've never seen before and apparently it's made out of ice that is maintained at, what did it say, 5 degrees? Negative 5 Fahrenheit on Negative the inside. Negative 5 Fahrenheit. So all of these are actual ice. And, and they, they have, have a core, a 5 inch core on the inside at negative 5 degrees. With colorful rotating lights on here. I mean... You can feel the cold from here. I can't. I'm too short. <laughs> You can tell though that over here, someone did feel how cool it was because oh they decided gosh. to leave their hand on wow. there for enough time. And then someone else is like, oh, oh. <laughs> have some respect, I hope people. It was their finger. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> I might overuse this word, but I'd say this is pretty cool. Ha 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 ha
and then you can use the status you get from those credit cards to convert status to Wyndham and then status in Caesars, which gets you free resort fees. No resort fees. The no resort fees is just one of many benefits that comes with being Caesars Diamond. You also get free show tickets every month, free nights at hotels in Dubai and in the Caribbean and at Atlantis, free parking, tons of other stuff comes with that. All right, so back to the video. We have a little bit of money left, but not much. And food on this trip is extremely expensive if you don't know where to look. So we're going to show you our last trick for this video. Actually, maybe not. One of maybe the last tricks for this video for how to save money on the strip in regards to food. Back to the hotel room we pass by this stage at the link where it seems like just about every night they have some type of shenanigans going on in this case it was the cha-cha slide where the performers were having everyone get up and dance with them so that was a lot of fun and yet another example of a fun and free thing that you can do on the las vegas strip oh and sadly this song has a copyright on it which is why we had to use different music over top womp 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 so Jordan, I don't know if you know this, but for our seventh grade talent show, mm -hmm. I did the cha-cha slide mm -hmm. with a friend Yeah. on a pogo stick with no hands. One hop this time. Is there anything cooler than that? And there is something we forgot to mention. We got so many comments on our How To Do Las Vegas Cheap video of people saying, there's no way you can get free drinks. Vegas has become so stingy, you just can't do it. There's some truth to that when it comes to sitting in a bar when it spits out a drink when you put a certain amount of coin in, or if you're betting high on a slot machine or something like that, then yeah, you're gonna go through a lot more cash before you get those free drinks, but the way that we do it is we bet lower and not at a bar to where we get free drinks uh -huh. way more than we actually need to where we're turning them down. Yeah, and preferably at a fancier casino because that was another comment we got a lot of saying, oh, all the you have to order beer, all the drinks are watered down. So hopefully this video shows you that that's not actually the case. You just have to know a little bit better how to do it, how to go about it. Mm -hmm. Another perk of being Diamond in Caesars Rewards is that every month you get two free show tickets to a long list of shows and we really wanted to see Matt Franco. And we really wanted to see that today so we could include it in this $50 challenge. Mm -hmm. But the next showtime is tomorrow on Friday. But I feel like we could kind of include that in today's shenanigans considering it's completely free. No fees, no charges, no holes. Nothing. Nothing. And these tickets would have cost over $130 each. Each! So that's just one more <laughs> huge benefit of doing that status match to become Diamond and Caesars. And we're only telling you this right now because we are waiting for dinner, which is hopefully going to show up soon because I'm freaking hungry. We are in our room right now waiting for our Uber Eats that we ordered. And we spent every last cent we had between the two of us to get that. Well, after tip, we're going. Yeah, we just we're, we're literally going in. to leave him our last penny. <laughs> <laughs> So that will be coming soon, but that's our basically our last trick for this video. You will probably find better deals on Uber Eats than you will mm -hmm. on the Strip. And Absolutely. it can be delivered right to your hotel. You just have to go down and pick it up. Generally, like the, the Uber uh, pickup ride area. chair area. Yeah. Jordan. <laughs> right. Sorry it took so long to get here, but all that construction back there. No problem. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. Doesn't get more convenient than that, and at the end of the day, that's all I really want is to eat food in bed while watching TV or something. Or heck, we could even go down to the casino and gamble while eating that. Uh -huh. If we want to, probably not gonna happen though. <laughs> yeah, so today I feel like this went very well. Yeah, this was a super fun day. I don't feel deprived at all from any experiences. Like no. uh, we basically did, ate, drank, saw everything. Slept. Slept? As in our room was covered. 
Oh, <laughs> but yeah, this was an amazingly fun day. So when you know how to do Vegas and you know some tricks, you have some tricks up your sleeve, you could have an awesome time. And that doesn't have to mean gambling all your money away mm -hmm. or anything like that. Yeah, we, we each had plenty more than enough drinks and we each redeemed one My Vegas reward and we took advantage of some of our Caesars Diamond perks. So all that combined makes it for a very cheap and fun and drunk day. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gives you some ideas for how you can do Vegas cheaper, save some money, have an awesome time while you're here. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see upcoming travel videos that we do about Vegas, Mexico, and other parts of the world. And one more very important thing. <laughs> <laughs> Gong that bell if you want to be notified when we put out our new videos. <laughs> and we will see you soon.